Hi there, my name is Dr. Dominic Rowley and I'm the Medical Director of Let's Get Checked. I'm here today to talk to you about Hepatitis C infection. So what is Hepatitis C? Well, Hepatitis C is one of the members of the Hepatitis virus families. So there's, hep there's a number of these different viruses, including Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis C is one of the most commonly uh, found types of Hepatitis virus in the Western world. How is hepatitis C contracted or transmitted from one person to another? Well, the most common way it's transmitted is through, the, uh, through infected blood. So by this I mean um, infected blood that you, can, that you can be exposed to in a number of different ways. For example, infected blood products. This rarely happens nowadays because of, uh, all blood products are rigorously screened. Um, the other way it can happen is through sharing of infected or dirty needles. So for intravenous drug users, this can be a problem. Um, for people who share needles when they inject steroids, this can also be a significant issue. Um, hepatitis C can be transmitted through dirty needles, for example, if the uh, for people who are getting frequent tattoos uh, and the needles aren't changed between each client, this can also be a source of hepatitis transmission. Uh, occasionally, hepatitis C can be transmitted sexually, though this is far less common than hepatitis B. Most people that are exposed to hepatitis C become chronic carriers. Um, the minority of patients, their own immune system clears the virus itself. So unlike hepatitis B, it's pretty much the opposite to hepatitis B. Most patients with hepatitis B clear it themselves and don't become chronic carriers, whereas most patients with hepatitis C become chronic carriers and don't clear it themselves. And that's why it's so important to get tested. So how does hepatitis C manifest itself or what signs and symptoms are, appear in patients with hepatitis C? Well, in the acute stage, when you first get infected with hepatitis C, you either may, may not notice it at all, or you may develop a flu-like illness, extreme fatigue, fever, you may develop abdominal pain, particularly here over the liver area, and you may develop a jaundice or a yellowing of the eyes, and you may develop an itch related to the jaundice. In the more chronic stage of hepatitis, the reason it's so dangerous as a virus is because it leads to inflammation of the liver, which is called hepatitis. Um, if this is untreated, Hepatitis will lead to a condition called cirrhosis, which is thickening or fibrosing of the liver, where it becomes less able to metabolize and clear toxins from the body. If this stage is left untreated, uh, hepatitis C, if, if chronic and the patient has developed cirrhosis, it can lead to a much increased rate of hep uh, hepatocellular cancer or liver cancer. So how is hepatitis C diagnosed? Well, hepatitis C is only diagnosed with the use of a blood test. If you're worried that you've come into contact with hepatitis C or been exposed to hepatitis C or have had sexual intercourse with somebody with hepatitis C or indeed worried that you have it, please go onto our website, Let's Get Checked, speak with one of our nurses and they'll advise you about the best test that's suited to your needs.